Scorpio. How are we? So, March 2019. Shit. <laughs> Uranus is moving into your seventh house of relationships. Now, this will affect all Scorpios, like uh, even Scorpio rising, Scorpio suns. But, like, it'll be even more intense, I think, for Scorpio risings, okay? Um, because Scorpio is your first house, so, therefore, Taurus is really your seventh house. Like, legit in your chart. Um, so, your opposite sign, Taurus, is going through some shit. And because it's right across from you, it's affecting you, right? Like, if the sun's over there, it's shining on me, right? kind of what's going on here. So Uranus is in your seventh house of your close relationships. This is going to make your relationships um, crazy, unstable, untraditional, um, unique, eccentric, etc. Crazy. Craziness already coming out here, Scorpio. You guys got a lot going on for the next seven years, okay? Like, it's a lot. Um, like weird situations could come up to do with your relationships. Weird situations could happen that kind of like unfold and pretty much like relationships just get weird. They can break off quickly. They can come in quickly. Um, it's going to just teach you a lot to do with relationships. You are going to, you're going to need space and you're going to need freedom. That's going to be your main thing with any relationship that you're in. If there's not space, if there's not freedom, peace the fuck out. That's how you're going to be Scorpio because it's like you are going to either require a non-traditional, unconventional relationship where you can have your freedom because you're honest, it's about freedom. It's about being the rebel. Um... Or you're going to be sneaking around doing shit that you really don't want to do, pissing people off, and it's not going to be good, okay? Just saying. Like, it's already in the cards. I'm getting other things off of them too, but we'll go over them in a sec, okay? So, yeah. The relationships are going to be crazy. Like, you're going to have crazy people coming in, and you're going to be like, I never thought I'd be friends with this person. I never thought I'd date this person, and like, here I am. Not saying that the relationships that you're in are going to break, like, or, you know what I mean? Like, they're going to end or anything um, if you're already, like, in a long-term committed relationship. But get ready for a wild ride. <laughs> and if you're with a Scorpio and you're cross-watching, make sure you allow them freedom, okay? So they're not doing this shit, right? So y'all aren't over here in this like deep ass commitment and then they're over here like sneaking around. You know what I mean? Um, you may be pissing people off with some commitment that you made or trying to get out of, com of a commitment you made or someone may be trying to get out of a commitment with you. Could be an Aries or a Taurus or an air sign, okay? You also have like the hanged man here. So you're kind of like waiting on something, weighing something out before making some kind of decision. There's some kind of decision that you're holding off on making here. It seems like there's some people in your life that are like trying it like always, Scorpio. Jesus. But like honestly, Scorpio is not the one to mess with this month, okay? Like, they, they just are not the one, okay? Um, it, it's just not good. They have Uranus going into uh, the wheel, just fell out reversed. They have Uranus going into their opposite sign, okay? Um, and so they are going to want to rebel. They are not going to want to... I mean, the emperor reversed, like rebelling. They are not going to want to go with the tradition. Um, they're finding ways. They're like making strategies to get the fuck out of some kind of commitment, some kind of tradition where they feel like they aren't free. So you're making strategies, but you're not making the moves yet, Scorpio, okay? You're not making the moves yet, 
And if you don't do it by March 5th, don't do it at all because that's when your honest moves are and that's when the Mercury retrograde happens too. Do not make any big decisions during a Mercury retrograde, Taurus. Listen to me. Do not make any big decisions. End things, start things, or travel from March 5th to March like 28th, okay? We'll say 28th just to be sure, right? Don't do it. Just don't do it. You don't want to. No, don't do it. Either do it before or do it after. Like if you're gonna do it, do it before, okay? So yeah, some of you may be waiting on some kind of money or fortune to come in. Some of you may be gambling. If so, I don't know. <laughs> Pisces is your fifth house. Um, so this is gonna be about family, children, pleasure. Four of swords. Someone may have ghosted you or you guys may have ghosted someone else. If this is a Taurus, they might have ghosted you or did some shit and now like you're not hearing from them. Or an air sign. Maybe an Aries. That That's what this could be about. Maybe someone else was the one trying to find some strategy to like break free. And it's just stagnant. Like you're not hearing from them. Literally, like you're waiting and you're like, yo, what up? Like like in this period of waiting and nothing's moving we're resting we're down we're waiting on something what don't know what to do don't know what where to go or someone else is waiting on us to do something i'm not sure what too many cards Queen of Pentacles coming out here. Yeah, some of you guys are dealing with an earth sign or an air sign for sure. Too many cards. An air earth sign for sure, I'd say. Movement is does not look like it's happening this month if you've been waiting, guys. Like... Some of you may get some kind of offer, some business offer, some kind of money offer, or get some kind of money. That may be what you're waiting on. You might get it with the Queen of Pentacles, because Earth is already there, so why would they have double Earth? Two of Wands. Yeah, I think it's coming in, because he's like looking towards her, you know? He's looking towards her, making a, making a choice. Um, ooh. Some of you are going to get this money and peace the fuck out. Or maybe someone's getting this money and piecing the fuck out. But you're not really piecing the fuck out, though. Like, she's leaving all these cups she's, ga she's gathered to go get that last one. You know what I mean? Like... So it's like some of you, some of you may be rethinking your decisions in the past because there's a lot of that too with Pisces season. It's just crazy, okay? Some of you may be rethinking your decisions from the past and feel like, did I make the right choice? Did I do this? Did I do that? Should I go back? Should I change it? Like, no, move forward. Do not go back. Do not change it. But more than anything, I think... Some of you guys are making the choice to leave something emotionally behind to get something better, okay? And it could be have something to do with this Taurus or this commitment that's going down, okay? Um, that could definitely be the case here. Um, so be careful with that. Uh, like I said, big decisions, start and end things. Ooh, the star. Some of you guys are going after like what you really fucking want. Like you're making the choice to go after your dreams, your hopes, your wishes. 
or an Aquarius. <laughs> that could be possible too. As the start is an Aquarius. Okay, so let's get into the after tarot. And then we're gonna go over the astrology and I'm gonna show you guys the cards. Hanged man falling over here. We'll see if he comes out again because we already got him once. It's like you guys are in this major waiting period, trying to control a situation possibly, or come up with a strategy to control the situation, or come up with a strategy to escape the situation. If you're trying to control the situation, I don't think you're gonna be able to, okay? I don't think it looks good. If you're trying to escape the situation and go against it or rebel or something, It looks good for before after March, okay? King of Pentacles coming out here. A lot of Earth Taurus, like wow, not Taurus. A lot of Earth Scorpio, wow. Taurus is an Earth sign. Um, yeah, a lot of Earth coming up here. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. You guys could have two Earth signs you're dealing with here. One could be more like a fatherly figure, if that helps. Or there could be some kind of business you're starting, some kind of like project you're doing that's making money, that's like reeling in money. Like, I think you're gonna get your wish when it comes to business, career, job, um, some kind of physical thing that you can see, feel, and touch, okay? is what's happening here. Five of Swords coming over. So yeah, I mean, don't go big this month, pretty much. Scorpio, like, a lot of energy in Pisces, so you're going to be feeling deeply creative. You're going to be wanting to do things that are fun, pleasurable, um, and you may run into some problems, like, with, like, your work versus your daily routine, like, your work and daily routine versus your fun life, your, like, the life that you have outside of work and, like, what you do for fun, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you may be, like, focusing on that, like, well, I never get time to do this thing that I love because I work all the time or whatever. You know what I mean? Like there may be some kind of like balance there. Venus is going to be moving into your fourth house of family love and um, family and like your like the deepest part of your soul, like where you're comfortable at. So your home life, family. Um, and there, this is going to be good. This is going to be good for like celebrating things, romance at the home life, creating things at home. Um, it's a lot of relationship energy though, because Mars and Uranus are in your seventh house of relationships. So this is bringing up things to do with your confidence, passion, assertion, and relationships. And like not just intimate relationships. When I say relationships, I mean all kinds of personal relationships, right? Um, it was in your sixth house, bringing in a lot of shocking, out of nowhere surprises, good or bad, when it came to your health, your work, that kind of thing for the last 10 years, okay? So you probably had a lot of weird, crazy, out of nowhere shit happen that seemed like way too good way too crazy to be coincidences happen when it came to your work, your day-to-day -day life, your routine, and your health, okay? So you're getting the five of cups and the seven of swords here. So there's a sense of moving on, going and trying to accomplish your hopes and dreams here, Scorpio, but you're waiting because there's a sense of possibly like to move forward with this person or this thing or this opportunity or situation it's like you have to let something or someone go like you see the person here in the water like drowning you know what i mean and like 
they're too focused. Like, there's a sense of having to let something go to get the recognition and do what you want, okay? Um, you may lose out on something or, like, either either somebody else is feeling like this or somebody else is making someone around you feel like this someone around you may have to let something go or um or it could be you maybe you moving on is going to upset this other person or them moving on is going to upset you okay whoever this person is it could be like an intimate thing, a family member, a friend, whatever. But them going this earth sign, if, the, if this is an earth sign that we're talking about here, um, it, it seems like it, it's emotionally affecting you for whatever reason. Whatever ends up happening with them this month, it's always good to come back and watch these towards the end of the month. You know what I mean? Oh... Scorpio, some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo that it seems like either some shady shit was done to them or um, you did some shady shit to them or they did some shady shit to you, okay? Um, a Leo... from the past might come back around, okay? That's what I'm seeing. It doesn't look good, okay? It doesn't look good, I'm just letting you know. If there's a Leo from your past and things ended for some reason, they may be coming back around and it doesn't look good, Scorpio. And you need to know that for whatever reason. It could be, it could have something to do with this Five of Cups Six of Wands, King of Pentacles energy, um, or this Taurus or Earth sign person could have like a Leo moon or a Leo rising or what the hell ever, okay? Um, it doesn't just have to be like a Leo sun. Um, and there's a lot of air here too. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, those are the main signs I'm getting, but you have all the signs here, okay? But it looks like, if that's not the case, it looks like something could end with a Leo and they may try to come back around or something ended in some kind of commitment that you had with somebody else and they are trying to come back around and like pull up some shit or sneak and do some shit. Um, yeah, that's what I am seeing. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at your guys' cards. Go over the rest of the astrology. By the way, if you guys want to support me, if you want to get like free personal short readings with me every week, and if you want to get like weekly love readings for your signs, um, and even more than that, go down to my Patreon. It's in the description box down below and become a member. Um, I, I have it like really cheap. It's only like $1 to $25 a month. Of course, like the more you pay, the more awards, like the more rewards that you get. Um, and I normally do a, most of them like weekly. Okay. So like the $5 rewards or the $5 tiers get uh, weekly love readings. The $10 and up tiers get a personal live stream with me with just them every week where I do personal readings for you. You guys can ask me questions. Um, and the $25 tier gets um, literally like a hour long live stream like once or twice a month where we go over your birth chart. I teach you tarot. I answer questions, give you a personal reading if you want it, etc, etc. So that's it. Check out the Patreon. Even if you just want to sign up just to donate, you don't care about the rewards, everything's down there. 
let's look at your cards and go over the astrology my loves i love you scorpio it'll be okay i promise so my ass accidentally put all the cards away and shuffled and everything because I thought I was done with the video, Scorpio, and forgot I was supposed to show you guys your cards. But you've already seen them, you just didn't get to see them laid out, I'm sorry. I'll go over the astrology really quick, so... Actually, I think we kind of touched on everything throughout the video. Uranus going into your seventh for the next seven years. This is going to be about non-traditional relationships, relationships that give you freedom, breaking away from certain relationships or situations where you feel like you don't have freedom or um that are just like you want something more unconventional uh, like unconventional un untraditional like something unique you want something different in a relationship than everybody else you know what i mean um and you want to break free of things that don't feel like that um, this could also be resolving old uh, past relations. So the energy I was getting with like Leo and Taurus and that air sign um, or the other or another earth sign, um, it could be resolving an old past issue. Um, but I don't think like they're here to stay. You know what I mean? Like I'm not getting that energy that they're trustworthy now or whatever. Like it's great for like making an amends or whatever but like and like clearing up the past but like I wouldn't like put too much trust into it you know what I mean um so people from your past could definitely be coming back a lot over the next like seven years um with Venus in the fifth house that could also be some of the energy I was getting in the cards so some of you guys with Venus in the fifth house this is all about pleasure with love okay so some of you guys honestly could be having an affair some of you guys may be cheating um and keeping it a secret some of you guys may be being cheated on but more it's gonna affect you more than anything so I don't really I don't, I'm not sure if it's gonna necessarily be you um but I think it's gonna be I, I like I'm like 95% chance it would be you, okay? Um, so, but it's different depending on what sign you are, who you're with, their chart, and all of that. You know what I mean? But mainly for you, Scorpio. Like, you'd probably be the one to want to have an affair or something. Um, one night stands could be a big thing if you're single or not. Um, nothing solid is going to happen this month, though. Like in your life anything that happens this month will not carry out that's why we say don't start anything don't end anything because it won't stay that way you know what I mean and it can get really confusing later on you just don't have all the information you may think you do but more will be revealed after this mercury retrograde and even during the retrograde so just do not make any decisions because you don't have all the information yet um you may want to make big decisions regarding relationships with uh, Mars in the relationship house too, but it's just not good, okay? It's not good unless it's before March 6th or the last couple days of the month. Um, yeah, I mean, some of you may like have some crazy urge to like, you met someone and you're like, oh, I want to go get married now. Like, let's go get married. And the other person's like, okay. And like, it's like, it moves like really quick and it's crazy. You get married and then like Mercury, Mercury retrogrades over. And then you find out like, oh my God, like they had another girlfriend or boyfriend. And then they have like 10 sets of triplets or some shit and are like, like freaking millions of dollars in debt. Like, holy fuck, what did I just do? You know what I mean? Like, that's the kind of situations like that you could get find yourself in this month like do not make any crazy harsh rash bold decisions that could change your life this month like do not travel period that's your month scorpio i love you i will see you over on patreon and in the weekly live readings be good i love you